All right, good morning, you guys. Look, this is the first weekend where we are really limited across North Texas, right? And uh, that can take a toll on your mental health. So here are a few things you can do to help stay positive this weekend. Keep your regular routine. So write it out, stick to it. Same with the kiddos. Uh, this includes breaks and even when you're going to sleep, okay? Stay active. Fresh air and daylight help to reduce stress. 20 minutes of exercise can really lower blood pressure, calm the mind, Hopefully we got some good weather in there for that um, and also limit social media. OK, especially on the weekends here. Constant scrolling can actually lead to feeling more disconnected. Plus posts on social media can be misleading or just flat wrong. You don't need to read all that stuff. Visit trusted sites for information, getting facts can help to settle your fears and bring perspective, okay? Uh, but you can use those social apps, you know, FaceTime or WhatsApp and stuff like that. Video calls, stay connected with your family and friends, even if they're just across town or next door, whatever it is. Check in, ask how people are doing, or even have an online party. I know some people are starting to do that. Finally, be flexible and realistic with yourself, okay? This new routine is gonna take time to figure out, so don't expect to be super productive right away. Uh, if you find yourself overwhelmed dealing with everything that's going on these days, there is a way to get professional help, and it's through telecounseling. With more on how it works, Dr. Brad Schwal from the Center for Integrative Counseling and Psychology. Uh, Dr. Schwal, so how does telecounseling work? So with telecounseling, clients may call our center just like they normally would. Our same phone number, go into our website, thecentercounseling.org, and telecounseling is done via phone or video. And what we work to do is to make the connection strong, easy to do. The issue is that those and all of us with normal everyday stressors um, are experiencing heightened stress. And so our goal is to continue to be able to provide counseling just as we normally would, but just remotely through phone or video. So can you make the same connection with a therapist or counselor on the phone? We work to make the connection strong. We work to use video. What we are finding, and as we switch to completely all telecounseling, that our clients and even new clients are excited to have this opportunity. So we make a strong connection and people are recognizing the need that they need to maintain that same level of care for their mental health. So we take care of our physical health during these times, preparing physically, we need to prepare mentally, but our clients have given great feedback. And again, we're taking new clients and we work very, very hard to, as you said, make sure uh, that we are able to have that connection that we are comfortable talking with each other, but we've had a good experience for sure. Understood. Yes or no, real quickly, will insurance pay for this? Most definitely. Insurance covers, in fact, the state is taking extra measures to make telecounseling simple um, and, and accessible, and that is our goal. And so, again, it's done the exact same way as usual. We need to acknowledge and accept what's happening, but then also reframe and, and take measures to make sure that we're managing the extra stress, not worrying about the future, focusing on the moment, but getting the help we need. All right, Dr. Bradshaw, thank you so much.